Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you guys want to learn how to grab a bull by the tonsils, don't forget to like the video. If this video gets 60,000 likes, Daddy Corn Star will teach us how to grab a bull by the tonsils. Today we're going to be doing some work in the big machine shed and we're going to be picking up some scrap metal out in the grove. It's going to be a head scratcher, but it's going to be fun. Yes, that sun is incredibly bright. Before I get too carried away, here we do have merch. You guys see this? Cornstar Farms? Keep in mind, these are some high quality pieces of material. This stuff is soft. This is not 100% cotton. These aren't the cheap shirts. These are the nice ones. They're soft and they caress the skin. Your body will thank you for it. Links in the description. Me and Cooper, we're gonna bring this auger in. We're gonna be making a different system in our big machine shed to move corn from one end to the other. Just kind of follow along and we'll show you as we go what we're doing. I don't even know what we're doing, but we're gonna try it. This flighting on this tube, we gotta cut it back here. So he's gonna weld a bead in here. So when we cut this off, it don't unwind. When somebody's welding, you do not want to look at it. It can burn your eyes. That's why Cooper has the helmet on. It's designed for bright welding. Heading off to cover a grave. Hey there, Larry! We got a drone, or what is this? No, this is the camera. You're the guy that marks the graves for me. I just come to check on you. All right. See if you got the hole filled in. Larry looks out for me, like if he sees graves that are sunk or need to be touched up, he contacts me and it's really great. So he does a lot of work out here. He's one of them guys, you don't think about what all goes on behind this grave digging, but Larry knows. <laughs> Larry knows. <laughs> Larry's heading back to his pickup now, so we're gonna get back to work. Well, we're here at the cemetery. We got a couple other graves that settled a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and touch them up while we're here. So I'm just gonna be straight up honest with everybody. I have not really gotten a whole lot done today. As a matter of fact, I've got nothing done today. Like two months ago, I had some friends ask if I would be the videographer for their wedding, and I said I would do it, and I had to get their video done because they are presenting it tomorrow. So that took me like eight hours to edit. So I've just been in my office editing away. But now I'm finally outside. Don't you guys just love big old sappy stories of me giving excuses on why I haven't got anything done? Oh, hey, Mr. Rock, you do not belong here. So last night, Cooper and I ended up running well past nine o'clock. We ran out of daylight and it was getting really hard to see. So we ended up calling it quits. I was running the torch, cutting some of this stuff up into more manageable pieces. Remember, I have to get it small enough so that it'll fit into the back of the dump truck. But basically, all I have left out here in the grove is some small bits of metal, some piles of wood, and then just a little bit of metal framing that I need to cut up into manageable pieces. And then as I'm going along, I'm gonna have to look in the dirt and find little chunks of metal that I missed. When one hit this with the lawnmower. And then once we get all this stuff cleaned up, I'm gonna grab the four-wheel drive tractor, bring the vertical tillage out to the yard. We're gonna mellow all of this out. Then we're gonna grab the skid loader take care of any high spots low spots or any area that needs attention and then we're gonna seed it this whole area we're going with kentucky bluegrass on this it's gonna look good cole finally got out of the office and it's almost what dark he can cut all these holes dad and cooper have been out here in the big machine shed they've been building an auger cooper's marking spots for holes to be cut because we're gonna lift this auger up and hang it from the rafters that way we can use it to fill this building i don't know if your lines are very straight coop straighter than some people's So I'll show you guys how this thing works. Corn comes in through that little hole and it piles all the way up to the edge. And then we'll have an auger from right there all the way to the ceiling. And then it puts a big pile in the middle of the floor until it builds all the way up to the top. And then we turn this bad boy on to send it that direction. We only fill the building about two thirds full. That way we can still get some equipment parked on this end. But even with it only two thirds full, we can still hold roughly 80,000 bushels of corn in here. The challenge is, you gotta start right here at these headphones, go all the way to the wall, right up the wall, and turn back around while coasting. I was gonna get the rules. It's enough screwing around, we gotta pick this stuff up. Good to see you're putting the tax right off to use. Some people buy Rangers and then they're way too overpriced, so. Here's Sulfa, 
A little Honda 125. We're gonna try to hang this auger up and I guess the plan is to try to come in from the side with the telehandler, lift it up, and then have people sitting on these boards holding onto those ropes to keep the sides from bowing down. Oh, ran into a little bit of a little tougher dirt here. This grave here was buried back in 1991, but it's just kind of sunk enough. It needs to be touched up. We got one more grave down here that's a couple years old. Starting to settle up a little bit here. We're gonna touch it up. We're gonna have a slight change of plans for tonight since we're running into a couple hiccups and how we're gonna hang the auger from the trusses. I'm gonna grab the skid loader, I'm gonna load metal into the dump truck, and I also have a few piles of trash that can be picked up. Not so tough now, are ya? There you go. Oh, good. We're back working on the big machine shit again today. See all those boards that run across this way? Those are called purlins. We have broken ones over here that we're gonna take down. We're gonna bring some new ones up. And then we're gonna sit and wait because we don't have any tin yet. It's gonna work. Hey, is that OSHA approved? Since those start working up on the roof, I'm the board guy. I'm just bringing them these boards. It's harder than it looks. We are getting ready to get back on the roof. We had to take a few minutes to have a drink. It is getting hot, hot, hot up on the roof. I don't know, is it supposed to get 90, 92 or something today, I think? And then you put a little work on top of that. It's 110 degrees. You could fry a frying pan with an egg on it today. It is so hot up here. So me and Justin, I think we got everything done up top right now. We're waiting for tin to come in. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down. Then hopefully next week our new tin will come in and we'll start tinning that way and then tear all that off. But I need to get to my water jug, get a drink. You gotta keep the old thirst buds full of moisture. Look at that, it's looking better already. So the first thing I did is I went along with the skid loader in a serpentine fashion across the yard and I picked up any metal that I found. I still need to do the same pattern again and look for wood and other types of trash. But now we have all the metal pushed into a pile. The trash is in a pile over there. And all the big stuff that I'm going to sell I pushed into the back weeds. So now once we get this type of stuff picked up then we can grab the real disc and we can come in here and level this all out again. It'll take care of our grass and weed problem. And then I think we'll be ready to grade the yard then we'll be able to seed it. Holy cow just look at that. Nice and open. That's what I like. But unfortunately we're not going to get any of that stuff done today. I have a wedding that I have to go to so I guess the yard's going to have to wait. Before we go here, don't forget guys, we do have merch, links down in the description, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We'll talk to you soon!